Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to start working on the admin panel of our POS. So first we're going to set up the navigation for it uh, and then just get all our pages ready. Then we're going to start working on each of these from manage, uh, manage users, manage stuff and start insights. Okay, so without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and start working. Alright, so just going to uh, clear that. And then what we're going to do is uh, go to our views, click, uh, right click on views, create a new folder, and we are going to call this, uh, what should we call it? Well, let's just call it admin. Alright, and then in here, let's create uh, three files. The first one is going to be init. Right. The second one is going to be admin dot pi. Mm, yeah, all right. Let's let's do it like that. And then the last one will be admin dot kv, of course. All right. Now with those three files, we can just close all of these out. Mm, actually, I might need. Yeah, we're going to be copying this. So for now. Let's just close all of the other ones. And then what we're going to do is in here, right, we are going to uh, do the styles for our admin. So let's just, uh, for now, I'm just going to do, let's see. All right, so looking at this, we don't really want uh, vertical orientation here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's horizontal orientation and then vertical orientation here all right so we don't want that so what we want is uh, a bit of spacing really all right for now we're done with the kv1 let's go to admin.py and we're just going to from kv.uix.box layout right and we want to import the box layout now that's all we need so we're just going to do admin inheriting from box layout and uh, uh, make sure we pass over our init to the original box layout right so that and that should be it all right so for now i'm also going to import the clock that so we're done with that now we go to our init and we'll just do from admin Ooh, what is going on that's interesting well I'm just gonna do it like that from admin we are going to import admin I don't know why intelligence is not working here Alright, so anyway, that's that. Uh, the last thing we are going to do now is we are going to go to app main .kv, and in here, in our screens, we're just going to duplicate that, and we are going to import admin, just like that. Alright, make sure this one is the small letter because that's what that folder is, right? The small letter admin. And then in our screens, if you haven't guessed already, we are just going to duplicate this. We are going to, for now, we want our admin screen to be the first thing that you see, right? So we are going to change this to admin so that it's the first screen you see, really. All right. And then change this to a capital letter A, obviously, because that's the class representing admin. All right. So for now, Let's just uh, let's run this and see what we get. All right, so as you can see, we have our blank screen. So now we are officially in the admin. All right, let's start working on it real quick. So we no longer need this. We no longer need init. We just need admin.py. 
all right so let's let's basically create the um, the navigation panel all right so in here uh, we are actually going to add a box layout add another one mm, actually I think we can just add a back box here and uh, the radius is going to be self dot height start with that. I think this time we might actually need self dot width but anyway uh, we'll see. Orientation, vertical, spacing definitely, that's 12. Uh, what else? Sizing X. So the horizontal sizing of this box relative to the width I'm going to do. What do you think? So maybe 20% of the available width so that this one takes the rest let's start with that if we have to change it we can always change it all right there we go let's do that let's copy that let's copy that let's change this to eight all right now let's color our box layout and we want this to be depth uh, color primary just color primary we also want uh, what else? Yeah, all right. So for now, that should be that. Let's run this again. See what we have. Interestingly, we have nothing. Hmm. And I know why. And Jesus, we have a very simple problem. All right. So from kv dot we want the builder that is because we haven't loaded our styles so builder the load underscore file which file do we want to load well we want to load views uh, admin admin dot kv all right let's run this again and yep we definitely have too much of that all right Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's go to admin.kv. Let's change. I wonder if I use width since width is uh, the smaller amount here. And then I just noticed I also want to add padding to the whole admin panel. So in this case, I will do left and right. I will do 32. Uh, top and bottom, I will do. Let's start with 16 all right let's see what we get all right lovely all right so there we go all right Ooh, I actually think this this might actually be too too wide let's change it let's see what we get when we do one give that 90% and yeah I think I like this one better all right so there we go now we just add the image okay so the image will be this lovely logo here so let's copy that go back to admin.kv in our back box with vertical orientation let's paste you in and then uh, we add our grid layout and the grid layout is the one that's going to contain uh, all of these okay so I add a grid layout instead of a box layout because by default a grid layout will add our stuff from top to bottom. All right, you can do it with a bar uh, with a box layout, but it's just easier with a grid layout. All right, so I'm just gonna do columns is equal to one so that we can have as many rows as we want. I'm gonna do spacing for each of our nav items. That's gonna be twelve. Do I need padding? I Yep, I need padding, but for the whole thing. All right, so padding is gonna do 12, because why not? All right, now the important thing is for our nav items. So you'll see that we sort of have custom a custom widget. We don't have a widget like this in KV by default, so let's just create it really quickly. So now I'm going to show you how to create custom widgets from your KV without having to go to your
.py file, so that will be, uh, I usually just call these nav toggles because they are navigation toggle buttons, really. All right, and this is just going to inherit from a um, button behavior. Mm, actually, they will inherit from a toggle button behavior. This is a, a standard behavior that comes with Kiwi, not ours. And then it's also going to, to inherit from a box layer. All right. So the first thing I like to do is always find the size, the uh, the height of this toggle, always. And I usually just go with 48 or 54, depending on how it looks. All right. So we're just going to do 48 for now. And then what we're going to do is we are going to have properties here. The properties. The first one will be text for the text of this nav toggle. The next one is also going to be an icon, which is a string property as well. All right, and with that, we have all the properties we need. So let's just uh, let's start working on it. Let's just work. Let's start working on this. So the first thing we're going to do is, since it's a box layout, we are going to add an anchor layout, and I'm just going to tell you what it is. Uh, in a second so for now just add an anchor layout and we're going to anchor Y to the center all right so this anchor layout um, is going to be this thing right here all right so we're going to add an anchor layout and this small widget that's going to be visible only when we are in uh, that now toggle all right so it's going to be an anchor layout it's sizing X on the X axis we don't want it we don't want it to be that big so all right let's let's start with uh, two for mm, two is actually pretty small let's start with four all right now let's add that widget that I was talking about so it's just a white canvas thing right so it's just gonna be canvas dot before the color for this is going to be RGBA and this is where it's gonna get tricky so first we are going to say if uh, this widget is selected right we want it to be white otherwise we want it to be transparent so we're going to say white but only if uh, root dot state so that's when the state is down which means this thing is selected all right is equal to down right otherwise we just want it to be transparent all right and we want a rounded rectangle the position is going to be the position of this widget the size is going to be the size of this widget all right and uh, what I want to do is for my widget here I want the size in Y the height of it to not actually take the whole height of the anchor layout I want it to take Let's start with uh, about 60%. All right, and then the radius is going to be on the left. We want it to be zero. On uh, uh, basically on the top left, we want it to be zero. On the top right, I want it to be about uh, six pixels. And then on the bottom right, I want it to be six pixels as well. And then on the bottom left, that should be zero. All right, and believe it or not, that's it for that small widget there. The next thing is just going to be the icon. So we're just going to use text. All right, and the text for this text <laughs> is a uh, root dot icon. And the color is, uh, yeah, the color is just white, really. And uh, what else? Oh, we want edge align to death center and we want the fs the font size to be up dot fonts dot size dot h2 and uh, with that i believe we have everything we need so now we just size it so sizing x is going to be none because the width of this so h2 is 22 right so the width of this if we give it something like 26 it should fit all right so with that said, we can now just copy this, paste it down here, change this to text, 
believe that's what we called it up here and uh, H align should be left aligned and uh, H let's do H3 and let's remove the sizing so that it takes the rest of it all right with that uh, done ladies and gents let's go up here and let's do nav toggle and I'm just going to do text is equal to point of save all right since we are just testing this I'm going to do icon and icon is going to be icon icon home right we're just going to test with these uh, icons so just going to duplicate that a few and then let's run it and see what we get Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that is what we get so this uh, this is too big obviously right but uh, here we have point of cell and the icon but the icon is not what we want what I want to test is uh, that widget so just gonna click and it's too big as well all right let's go ahead and uh, let's fix this first all right so the image the image ooh, this is why the image is too big we actually want size in y to be none and the height to depend on the width all right let's run this again all right so that is what we get now all right looking good uh what i want to do is change this to logo dark i believe we have that logo in there all right and now we have the white logo all right looking good so now the next thing is uh before we close this off is we only want one of these to be selectable at a time okay so that means if we go to our nav toggle it's actually quite simple all we have to do is just give this a group like uh, nav items for example and that prevents you from selecting two of those nav items at a time so now if I select this and select this this gets unselected all right looking good now for this widget uh, the size into X Ooh, what is going on Ooh, size in X Ooh, so that's what's going on <laughs> size in X is supposed to be none the width, uh, width is the one that's supposed to be full all right now that should fix most of that stuff all right there we go so there we go there we have our lovely widget over there all right so this is where we're going to start for this one in the next one we are going to bring back this text because uh i believe this is actually just a sizing issue all right so we're going to bring this back and uh fix the padding on that one all right so if you have any questions regarding this one uh let me know in the comment section otherwise as always i'm sam and i will see you guys in the next one